My name is Jeff Hunt. I'm the director of the Centennial Institute here at Colorado Christian University. These are our Issue Mondays. We do these once a month to highlight different issues. Uh, last month, we addressed doctor-assisted suicide. The month before that, uh, immigration reform. So uh, we cover a wide variety of issues. The issue we want to address tonight is the U.S.-China relationship. Is this unfolding relationship a new strategic competition? The United States and the People's Republic of China, or the PRC, may have arrived at an inflection point in their bilateral relationship. While some analysts continue to believe that a cooperative relationship is possible and that the U.S. and the PRC can form a G2 type of partnership to tackle a range of global challenges, an increasing number of analysts see a very different trajectory. China's assertive behavior and confrontational rhetoric suggests we are on the leading edge of what will be a long and intensive strategic competition for dominance over the Pacific Rim. While American strategists like Andrew Marshall, Robert Kaplan, and Aaron Friedberg each began foretelling of this great power struggle over a decade ago, recent events seem to underscore this view. In February of 2016, U.S. Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter announced that this power competition has reemerged as the Pentagon's top priority. And he expects it will define the next 25 years of foreign policy. Later in the month, the commander of the U.S. Pacific Command, Admiral Harry Harris, told the Senate Armed Services Committee that China seeks hegemony in East Asia. Are the U.S. and China destined for strategic competition? Can the relationship be managed to ensure the competition is benign, doesn't result in military conflict, and allows for cooperation to exist where our interests align? Can robust trade and economic ties be sustained in an environment of growing rivalry? What are the key policy choices U.S. decision makers must make to shape the relationship towards its optimal state? Wise and prudent stewardship of a variety of challenges simultaneously will be required for there to be sustained peace and stability. This discussion tonight will examine the current environment and will explore what policy approaches should be adopted by Washington. In addition to these trade, defense, economic issues, we at Colorado Christian University are very concerned about a number of human rights issues. One is forced abortions and the one-child policy that's implemented in China. In China. It's, very, uh, it's very bad, and we want to discuss that tonight. The other issue is religious liberty and what's happened to the Christian church there. I'm sure some of you are aware that on April 14th, Christian pastor Li Zhigong's wife, Ding uh, Kumai stood in front of a bulldozer in an attempt to stop a demolition of their family's church. This was in the Henan province. However, one member of the demolition team gave the command to bury the couple alive as he would be the responsible one for the incident. The bulldozer then pu pushed Zhigong and uh, Kumai into a ditch and covered them with soil. Pastor Zhigong was able to escape but his wife fortunately died of suffocation before help arrived. This happened less than a month ago. This was April 14th. So to help us think through all of these issues that are happening and how complicated they are, they are, are my friends, Dr. Kyle Usry and Randall Shriver. 